Hi everyone and welcome to The Sim Twins. I'm Bree and today I am doing a shell build challenge. So basically somebody else built the outside of this house um, and the challenge was that you have to go and furnish it and make it look pretty and cool and everything. And this was made by Zephyrin underscore TV. That is their gallery name. Um, anyway, this this house is already up in the gallery, actually. It is a very small house. Um, our sim name is The Sim Twins 14. So if you want to download this house and put it in your own world, go ahead and feel free. Let me just tell you, though, this house was so hard. It's, it's very small. It only has one bedroom and one bath. And honestly, I, I could not in the life of me figure out how in the world to like get this so the rules usually with shell builds are you're not allowed to like change the outside or anything so you can't change the outer walls so you can't change the way that is built that way and you couldn't change the deck of this um they didn't say anything about like you couldn't um make a you like you could change the foundation height so obviously if you change the foundation height you have to create sort of a porch here so that's what i'm doing here in the back and i did put the columns back up because i thought it was weird if you didn't have columns there'd be like oh that's just like a floating deck you know because physically you know physics in real life that wouldn't be happening so you know in the sims it's a little different but anyway i just um, right now i'm just like changing up the colors of the railing and oh my gosh finding colors to match was so hard okay like literally finding colors to match in the sims oh whew, wow it's very hard to try and do that anyway this is the original stair placement which it was just like horrible when you go upstairs because like i just changed it a lot but um this person actually did say like you could change the layout of the house so i did change some of the walls so here i'm changing up um, the placement of the walls and stuff down in the first floor and I actually make this kind of like a, um, a half wall almost like a tall half wall it kind of separates this will eventually be our kitchen and our dining room area and I um, separated them with the wall which I thought was pretty cool um, and now here I'm just like picking out so I wanted to do these like big double arches but then I was upset because they didn't exactly um, go in the middle of the or they weren't even and I really like symmetry in building and there was just no symmetry whatsoever so I just changed to the one one the one separate ones and here I am placing the um the mar oh, microwave I said microwave nope that's the refrigerator I'm placing the refrigerator there and I wanted to like make it sort of come out of a little bit of the wall but then I just pushed it back into that little square area there and um I just chose these um cute little uh counters i really wanted um like the theme of the the colors of these builds is kind of weird because it's sort of like i tried to do more of a dark medium type wood um but i like didn't exactly do that so it's kind it's like the colors in this build you're gonna notice are like really weird and stuff so they i'm not the best matcher <laughs> of colors um but yeah, anyway, so here we are just working in the kitchen. And let me just tell you, I am all over this build. I am not a person who just sticks with one room and furnishes that room first. I just go all over the place when I build. <laughs> I just like, I'm thinking, oh, okay, okay. So I start one room and then I think, oh, I need to go back and do this other room. So that, that this is shows my workflow of like chaos. And let me just tell you, I spent almost two hours on this house because like I said it was really hard to do um here I am I originally placed the dining room here in this way right before the back doors but then I just decided it was not working out and I did not like the placement of it and then I was also worried I was like oh the sims are gonna be like oh no I can't I can't move I'm you know like you know how they are when when something blocks their way they're like I can't move I can't do that so so I did eventually move it um but here I am creating the back de deck and as you can tell like the colors are just like all over the place I tried to match the woods but I yeah and then I realized I was like oh my gosh I wanted to build the railing so bad and I just wanted to do it freehand and then I was like oh my gosh I gotta build a stupid wall um, anyway, anyway, here we are reconfiguring the upstairs and the upstairs. Let me tell you, this was really hard because it's like super small and whatever way I kind of did it, I just couldn't figure out how to do, get a full size bathroom and a uh, bedroom. Um, that was really difficult, but I finally figured it out. And like, this is the only configuration that worked, honestly. Um, so like this upstairs is like so cramped. I wanted it to be bigger, but it was just... Yeah, what I was working with, it was like no room. 
So I was like, oh, maybe I should put, a, like, a wall there. But then I was like, wait, that would give a weird, like, little angle in the bedroom. So I just took it out. And then I eventually just placed a little um, decorations on that. Because some people, like, you know, they have, like, little landings, like, randomly just in their house that you would never go to. And they just place little um, random stuff there. So here I try to place a dresser into the bedroom. But like I said, this room was just so small. There's no way to. So... I actually placed a dresser downstairs, which I mean, as long as the Sims can use it, I think that's all that matters. It's not really about um, where you place um, where you place stuff in this game. Um, so here I am, just working on the bathroom and the bedroom, and see, then there's me, there's me jumping around again. Yep, I just totally jump around all the time. I do, like I said, I do not specifically just decorate one room. I guess I should, but I my workflow is so weird. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding a rug, and I, I, it's so hard to kind of like find rugs, and you just want to size them up and be like, oh yeah, that's a good size, but then it's like not a good size, so then you just have to get a different one. So see, I placed the dresser sort of behind the stairs, but I do move them, because then I was like, I don't know if the Sims can get behind the stairs, but I mean, I guess they can, so we'll see. It's, <laughs> it's a mess. And then here I am, I'm just like, oh, I should just put the TV in the corner, um, so I put it on the little table there, and then I just have, like, a little seating area, because I, there was just not really any room to put, I tried to put a couch, but there's like, just no room earlier to put a couch in that little area, but right before the stairs, or then they would be like, oh, I can't get to the stairs, blah, 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 um, but I did add this, like, little, the book, the little books, which I thought was awesome, and I was so glad that The Sims, um, with the little books now, um, and, like, making that a full library instead of having to have, like, an actual bookshelf to, like, have the books and stuff because, I mean, it's really a lot more convenient, um, to do it that way and also a major save, space saver. And there I am. I am on that top deck. I literally just placed that one little chair because I had no other idea and I was like, why did I do that bright blue? I'm not too sure. Um, the colors of the walls are kind of, like, all blue. It's weird. So here I am going back and refurnishing the kitchen. Like I said, I just jump around all the time, um... So I'm doing this like little half shelving, which I liked in this area. And I thought it was like pretty cool. Um, so, and then I do, I, we, um, we just got pets. So in here I place a little fern and then I also place like a pet feeder and a bed for your pets. So if you do have a, um, pet for your Sims, they are more than welcome to be here. So for, man, furnishing decoration, decorations, decorations, that's nothing, um, decorations is like the hardest part so I just like took this one picture and I duplicated it multiple times because I was like oh it's got a nice design so I just do that and honestly my game did crash while I was furnishing this house so the one up on the gallery is not exactly like the one that you see in the video it's pretty similar but um it's not just you know not not, not every not every single object is the exact same so just know that there's are some differences i think i left out some curtains that i had originally placed here um but then my game crashed and then i forgot to put the curtains back in um but you'll see in the screenshots the screenshots at the end will show more of what's going on and stuff um but anyway i do um i was like just have this random wall space and i was like what am i gonna do so i found this like really nice picture i, I like this really big picture um has like multiple different canvases all to create one picture and I really like that so I put that there because you know what else what else are you going to do with that space honestly um and here I am I realized that like the furniture not the furniture the windows and the doors do not match whatsoever so I like go back and change all of them um but this was before my grand crash so then I went back and I tried to choose the same colors but I don't think I did so um, if the coloring's a little different, yeah, just, just know, know that, because, like I said, the swatches in this game are, like, pretty good if you can find swatches that really, really match, but sometimes they just don't match whatsoever, and I'm just like, why would you have objects that are supposed to kind of, like, be together in a set and then not have the same swatches for them? I always thought that was weird. Um, but here I'm just putting some terrain paint, uh, I think, yeah, um, another Simmer who does builds, I can't remember their name, um, always says, like, just putting terrain paint just, like, makes it look more like a real home, which is true because, you know, if you have flowers and trees places, you don't just have grass there. You usually have, um, like either a flower bed or some kind of, uh, soil to put for them. Um, so then here I am. I finally learned that you do not have to build a wall to build fences. Um, I figured that out. So here I am just putting in a fence in their backyard area. Um, and then, and then putting in a little gate. And then here in the back, I put a tree, and, um, that's a, I, like, I, this is built in Rill Willow Creek. I actually took out one of the streamlets to put this in, because it's a 20 by 15 lot, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
But anyway, so I put it in Willow Creek. So I thought this tree like really matched the aesthetic of the uh, world. And I also thought that, oh, and there's a bike for your sims to go biking. And I thought that the colors I chose for the outside also did match. And then here I am just putting a table. Um, and the table that is in the gallery right now is a different color. It's the same exact table, but it's just in a different color palette. Um, and then here I am putting some planter boxes um, or planter little those aren't boxes. Those are like flower beds. Not flower beds. I don't know what you potters. Pottering. Yeah, that's what I think you call them. Anyway, um, we're almost finished here. I thought I was going to put some stairs off the deck to, right into the backyard, but then I decided that's not going to work. So anyway, here it is. Look at the screenshots. I hope you enjoy it. You can download it now in the gallery. Um, but thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.